What's going on guys? I'm Peyo39, and today we're going to be doing basic math. Uh, it's a little basic. It's probably very basic, actually. Uh, so, what it does, what we're going to do is it's going to print... Okay, go away please, thank you. Print 2 plus 3. Take a guess of what's going to come out. Just take 5 seconds. Yeah, 5. There you go. Print 5 minus 2. 3. Print 5 times. We'll actually do a shift 8. 2. 10. Because 5 times 2 is 10. Let's do uh, 10 divided by 2, which is a slash. That's 5. Negative 2. Is negative two, negative two, also negative two. Now, what I love about this is that you could use just this command bar as a calculator. Just put print parentheses in the equation, and it will do the equation for you. Probably don't want to do that when you get into algebra, though, because you need to learn that stuff. <laughs> okay, so uh, if you need to check your work, though, that's how to do it. Okay, so you can do x equals 2, y equals 3, we need a space, y equals 3, print x plus y. That is 2 plus 3, which is 5, so it's like algebra, it's variables. Alright, print, ten, uh, yeah, 10 divided by 20, which is 2.5, divided by 5, which is 0 0.1 because 10 divided by 20 is half, half and a half, and then a fifth of a half is 0.1. You <sighs> know, I'm not a math teacher, I'm a script teacher, so that was easy. How long did that take? 2 minutes 15 seconds. That's uh that's all there is to that. Let's see what string is. Okay. So, let's see copy and paste this. I guess I'll explain what this is when I understand what it is. Really all it does is print all this good stuff. There you go. Uh, excuse me. Strings differ from numbers in that you can't allocate a name like Bob to numbers. Another important note with strings is that if you try to perform an arithmetic on a string value, it will try to convert the string to a number. If your value can't be converted to a number, you will get an error. Example, print 5 plus 1. That should be 6, but it actually does print 6, I think. It tries to convert it to a number, which makes sense. If you print no, hi there. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> it doesn't work because you're trying to do arithmetic on a string value. But if it's just the number in the string value, it will still work. Okay. Print 50 is equal to 50. False. Why? Because a string is not equal to a number. Okay, so print to string 50 is equal to 50. True, because you can convert the number 50 to a string. I mean, you converted it to a string. Because you put to string 50 is equal to the string 50. So, okay. So, print to number. This is pretty cool, actually. I haven't done this stuff before. 50. is equal to 50. True, because you converted the string 50 to a number. Print 50 is equal to 50. Let's see. True, because you tacked on an empty string to the end of the number 50, converting 50 to a string. That's a little confusing.
I don't know exactly what that means. <laughs> uh, I guess it just put them together. Something like that. I don't know. I'm not sure what tagging does. Okay. Oops. Alright, advanced. Let's look at advanced stuff, even though most of you probably are basic scripters. Let's check it out. Print 0xf is equal to 15. Why is that true? Wow. That's cool. It's true because 0xf is a hexadecimal number, which equals 15. I did not know that. I had no idea you could do a uh, hexadecimal. Hexadecimal. That's cool. Print 0xf. Actually, to number 0xf. Nothing. I need to put in quotes, some of that. Still no. Equals 15. What did I do wrong? Uh, that's not true for me. Let's check it out. Copy. Paste. What the heck? Do number. Oh! <laughs> I put O X F instead of zero X F. That's silly. Fifteen. Twelve. Okay. A ten. B eleven figures. F. Let's do Z. Oh, that's no. R. <laughs> A, B, C, G. Yeah, it doesn't go past F. I almost forgot about that. Okay, so that's Hesmic Decimal. Let's see what this link brings us to. I could edit that. As well as other... Oh wow, that's crazy. Invent binary? That's disgusting. That's cool. Well, that's kind of advanced, but okay, quotes. Let's see. Print hello. Just this. Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, I put insert, that's why. Not just one of them. I don't think they do. Hope. That works. That's how you use quotes in scripting. I get it now. If you want to name something with quotes, then you put print hello law user. You actually put something besides quotes. That's pretty cool. It's oops. Content hasn't got a substring. Okay. That's cool. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. Print. Lol. 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 <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. So basically, uh, if you print with the uh, 
these two uh, things, brackets, and you can actually put enter, enters in it and stuff, do multiple lines, and it'll work. Let's see. There you go. Nested quotes rely on the use of equal signs to distinguish one nested quote from another. Okay. So we got print equals Let's try that just for fun. That doesn't work, does it? Nope. There we go. So you can use equal signs and that'll work. That's interesting. Hmm. Escaping. In single or double quotes, but not block quotes, you can use escaping to embalm any character. Backslash followed by certain letters has special meanings. See the law manual. See how much time we got. Alright, I can upload this for 15 minutes. Oh, look at this. A law manual. I need to look at this sometime. Almost forgot about this. 5 to the 5th power. Yep. Okay, let's try it out. Print. ring ABC oh, I did can do backslashes hmm. string with And that's a little weird. <laughs> what backslash is crap? <laughs> That's so weird, dude. H J H I, because H I J, okay. What's 96? That's cool, man. 97 is A, so that means 19. 122 is Z. So that's weird stuff. I don't know why that'd be useful really, but it's pretty interesting. I gotta use the backslash. I keep doing the wrong thing. That's pretty cool stuff. So that's not really a tutorial, I guess. But uh, I've got less than 30 seconds. Uh, that's kind of cool. If you want to look at that page, it'll show you printing and uh, exactly what the strings and stuff like that are. What you can use to define variables. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll go to part 5, and we'll see the other fundamentals of law scripting. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and that's all.